Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Africa Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe button right now. Also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So to open your bank new exclusively, we definitely be notified. Yeah, guys, as you can see, Forbes. Forbes has estimated that Francis Ngannou will make an enormous $20 million from his fight with Anton Joshua, not including pay per view and sponsorships. The magazine predicts that Anton Joshua has asked for the same amount as Tyson Fury made for his fight with Ngannou $15 million, bro. Huh? Let me tell you something, guys. I'm so happy for Ngannou. From the goddess of Cameroon to the top. In fact, he deserves even more. I think last time he got paid 12 million, something. That was his highest paycheck. And now he's getting paid 20 million. Of course, this is um this is like um what we we Nigerians say this is like some paper for for Saudi Saudis. This is like nothing, bro. They pay this in salary to big stars. You know, Ronaldo, for example, earn a lot of money. Benzema, and, you know, Riyad Mahrez. But one thing that surprised me the most is that they see the value in Ogano. Ogano really did well in his last fight against Sans Fury, dropping Fury. And in my opinion, beating Tassi Fury, you might say, yeah, you give like Tassi Fury one, like uh, SG by two rounds or something like that. But if uh, a, a guy that a guy on his pro debut with no experience at all in boxing drop a champion or WBC world champion, that to me is very correct. And also in that fight, a lot of rounds, this guy didn't do anything. I, there were rounds where things were just normal, you know. But this fight, this fight between Joshua and Ngano is gonna be a very different fight, a different fight entirely. It's going to be one of the the most explosive fight you've ever seen. Because these two guys are not going to. Um let each other rest or even like they're gonna take a break they're gonna go to war which already said it she said it's fought against the gano is war and i keep bringing this back 2012 gano homeless in a jungle tried to cross to morocco uh tried to cross to spain from morocco route to Paris. Joshua have won the Olympic uh, gold medal at the London Olympics, 2012 London Olympics. It's just some, it's just the two stories, it's just some, like, Ungano's story is, is more, is more relatable to the average African kid growing up in the street. I mean by the average African kid that doesn't have a rich parent, probably from the village, just don't know what life I would, what I wish them in life. Sometimes you just want to make a journey and just go go out, you know, of your comfort zone. Or say, listen, my family has to survive in a way. I'm gonna do that, but I don't think he imagined 
ever. Like, it's not something you can imagine. It's not something you can... Listen, it's not something... Even if someone tell you, oh, you're going to become this in the future, you said no. Because Ngan wanted to be a boxer. But he saw that the boxing politics and everything and the road... If you if you become a boxer, for you, in order for you to, like, get to the, to the top, it takes a lot of sacrifices, a lot of money being pumped in you, a lot of... A lot of people will play you. There are a lot of betrayers, a lot of snakes. The same in the UFC. But UFC pumped money on Ngano. They marketed him properly. Ngano earned his name. He earned his work in the UFC. And then the UFC wanted to cage him with a very slave, slave, uh, slave, uh, slave, uh, slave-like contract. But Ngano refused. So, twenty million before pay-per-view is crazy is a massive god congrats to Ghana because he deserved this and the winner will, even, will get even more against the undisputed um, champion so by then we should be having a spirit champion february uh who's uh, fury, fury fights for it fights for all the bells all the mambo bro this is Eastern and making and Saudi Arabia. I tell you right now, they've saved boxing, bro. Some might say, yeah, this wouldn't last. But for them to pull their their money where their mouth is, instead of just talking about because boxing fan listen, all this vibe we see now, without Saudi Arabia, we, we won't be able to see it. At the end of at the end of my room and uh, Frank Warren would never work together. We would have never worked together if the Saudis didn't come to the rescue when there is money and when there's a vision even your hardcore enemies become friends or become <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't know man it's just weird I'm happy for both guys pro- both promoters at the end of Matter Boxing he lost money differently and Frank Warren the same thing I think the American promoters like Bob Harum is just a little bit skeptical. Bob Harum should man up. He's already old. He's not going to live forever. Do the right thing now. Get us the fight we want. You have fighters that are very good. Get a, get him get him to fight uh, in big fights. Better be here, for example. I think he signed to top rank against Bivor. Imagine that fight, bro. That would be blast. That would be a blast. Can't wait, guys. Still remember to go to the radio. God bless you. Cheers.